Hi guys, this is your DK again. I am excited to welcome you all to our new series of videos where we dwell into the fascinating world of PyTorch. PyTorch is a popular open source deep learning framework that empowers researchers and developers to build and train a neural network with ease. PyTorch is invented by the Facebook AI Research Lab and it's been released in October 2016. Let's get started with the hands on. You can use the above contact command to install PyTorch in your local machine. Once you have successfully installed the PyTorch, you can use import torch to import all the PyTorch packages. And let me import NumPy as well. I'm going to import NumPy as NP. So I have imported torch as well as I have imported NumPy. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a matrix or a tensor using a pytorch so let me create a matrix over there so let me do 20 comma 10 and i'm gonna do something like 3 comma 4 so this is some kind of a list of a list so what i'm gonna do is like x data equal to torch dot tensor this creates a tensor of numbers for me of data so if you do x underscore data shows a tensor object so this is how we can create a tensor object from a nested list now what i'm going to do is like keeping the x data as the size so i have a two comma two matrix i'm going to replace this two comma two matrix with ones so what you can do is like a equal to arch dot once you can give dot like of x of data so if I print A over here, so basically what it is going to do, it's going to take the shape of X data and it's going to replace it with ones. So let me do the same for zeros as well. P-R-O-S and I'm going to run the same. You can see, right? So it takes the shape of the X comma data and it replaces it with zeros. Suppose in case if you want to fill it with some random number, so what you can do is like, x ran equal to torch dot ran like you can give x data and you can pass the data type which you are interested in which is torch dot load and if you print the x dot ran it will give you some random number which varies from 0 to 1 So here we just took already existing tensor and we replaced it. Suppose in case if you want to create a new tensor of random shape, you can give the shape equal to 5 comma 4 and yeah, we can give the shape equal to 5 comma 4 and what you can do is like ran tensor equal to arch dot ran and you can give the shape. So let me print the ran tensor it's going to create some random number of the shape 5 comma 4 if you are interested in doing once you can do rand once let me rename it as rand once and i'm going to use something like torch dot once and you can pass the shape over there and you can do rand dot once so it's going to create me rand dot once and similarly you can do the same for zeros as well zeros equal to zeros zeros so it will create a comma for matrix with all zeros over there suppose if you are interested in doing a three-dimensional matrix then you can pass the shape as 2 is to 3 is to 5 okay 2 comma 3 comma 5 let me copy paste the same is going to create a three dimensional matrix of 2 comma 3 in x and y axis and 5 in the z axis the same applies for ran dot zeros and ran dot ones suppose if you want to see the shape of an existing sensor what you can do is like we can try print ran dot shape 
this will give us the shape of the torch and we can even in the data type like dot d type use the data type which is a float 32 and you can even check the device whether it is a cpu or it is of a gpu uh, you need to give device over there so it is going to give me cpu because i am running everything in cpu suppose if you want to switch to gpus you can write this piece of code if watch dot cuda is available then you can change the device to gpu to cuda So since I don't have uh, CUDA installed in my system, I'm going to use CPU for my demonstration purpose. Also, you can even do slicing in the PyTorch tensors. Let us try out the same. Try some indexing over there. So let me create a tensor. Torch dot once. Shape, let me give 4 comma 4. So if I want to get the first row, what I can do is like then tensor of zero, which is similar to normal Python slicing. So it is going to give me the first row alone. So it's going to give me first row. If I'm interested in the first column, so what I can do is like you can give like any row but it should show me the first column so this is how you can get the first column this is giving me the first column okay suppose if you are interested in getting the let me rename it as first column suppose you are interested in getting the last column then what you can do is like you can give like minus one over here it is going to give me the last column since it is of same shape uh, you are unable to differentiate it uh, let me try out with random actually so ran let me give rand over here okay ran so let me print the tensor first okay let me try to get the first row so you can see that i'm trying to get the first row over here so let me try to get the last row okay so it is returning me all the last row over here, uh, I mean, first column over here, which is this one. First column over here. Uh, now, let me try to get the last column, so which is returning me the last column over here. So, this way you can use the indexing options, which is similar to Python, and you can get the slices as accordingly. So, next we can see how to perform a matrix multiplication using PyTorch. So what you can do is like uh let me try to print the tensor again so i have already a tensor of shape uh let me try to get the shape tensor dot shape is going to give me the shape it is a four comma four if i want to multiply a two matrix i need to transpose the other one since it is of same shape it's not going to harm me but it's good to have a transpose of other one so what i'm saying is like i'm going to multiply y1 equal to i'm going to do tensor you can give iterate symbol and you can give tensor dot t so basically what it's going to do it is going to multiply two tensors and it's going to give me the resultant one so this is the one method of doing a matrix multiplication let us try to see the other method so what you can do is like tensor dot mathman which is similar to our numpy syntax Tensor dot transpose and you can print y2. So this way you can do a one more matrix multiplication on top of this. So this is the second approach on how you can do the matrix multiplication. Let's see the one more approach. So what you can do is like uh, let me try to create a y3 matrix like uh, torch dot ran like y1. So what I'm gonna do torch dot mathmal i'm going to multiply tensor with tensor transpose and my out is going to be y3 so let me try to print this y3 over here 
So this is giving me the result and matrix multiplication. So this is how you can perform matrix multiplication using PyTorch. Imagine a scenario if you want to do some aggregations. Let us see how we can do aggregations in PyTorch. So let me print the tensor for the reference. So here I have the tensor. What I'm going to do is like AGG equal to tensor dot sum. So it is going to sum everything and it is going to give me the resultant value. So let me print AGG over here, aggregated value over here. So this is the aggregated value. It is going to sum everything and it is going to give me the aggregated value over there. So if you want to see the uh, data type, you can give agg dot d type, which is going to give me the uh, data type. I bet there is spelling mistake over there. So agg dot data type, it's the floor 32. Uh, if you want to collect it or if you want to take it outside, what you can do is like uh, you can use uh, agg dot item. So if you do print a, let's see what's coming. It is coming it as a integer. Let me try to get the data type of a. Print type of a, which is a Python class float. So if you want to do some aggregation and if you want to make it as a Python variable, then you can use dot item. So it collects it and it gives it back to you. Okay. So imagine I have a tensor. Uh, I have a torch, my bad. I have a torch of tensors. If I want to add some number over there, uh, let me. I want to add some one on top of each and everything. So what I can do is like uh, torch dot add. So you can pass the number with underscore like two. Now let me try to print the torch or tensor over here. So you can see right, two is getting added in each and every place. So that's it with today's videos, guys. In this video, we saw how to install a PyTorch and how to create a tensor using PyTorch and how to do some matrix multiplication, indexing and aggregation in this tensor using PyTorch. If you like the video, kindly do subscribe it for the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching the video and happy learning.